I'm going to show you how to do circular knitting, small diameter circular knitting, using a single long circular needle. This is a 32 inch circular that I'm demonstrating on, which is the minimum uh, that is typically preferred by Magic Loop Knitters. So um, one of the features of this circular needle that you will want to have for this method is a very flexible cable and you will be needing to kind of pinch it a bit small to get it out of between two stitches. And so you want a flexible cable on your needle such as these, which are the Knitter's Pride line of circular needles. Yeah, we carry these in the store if you're interested and they come in different tips. So this popular Nova needle kit is, is what I'm using. Okay, so I've cast on my stitches onto my right needle. And now to begin knitting in the round, we do the following. We slide this down onto the cable and grabbing the cable itself about halfway into the knitting here. We're going to bend it enough to get it out. And here's where flexible cable is kind of important because it's going to stretch these two stitches apart and you don't want it to distort your knitting. So we're just sliding these up onto the tips now. I've put half of them on one needle and half on the other. I'm going to put the working, one with the working yarn on the right. And here's my first cast on stitch on the left, which will be the first one that I knit into to join it into the round. So let's get this working yarn or this tail yarn out of the way. Let me see if I can make this shorter so it's not confusing us. There we go. Okay. So working yarn attached to the right needle and the first stitch is in my left hand. And now I just want to double check that I got my cast on stitches not twisted it around the needles at all. They are lined up in the middle of between the two needles. And now we are ready to knit this first stitch. Well, almost ready. It looks like I could almost knit this first stitch as I am, but that will be quite difficult. What we're going to do is grab this right needle and pull it out. So now half of the knitting is resting on the cable and my right hand needle is free and mobile. And so I can just knit this first stitch. And in fact, I'm knitting across the whole needle. And then, so I've got half of it now on this needle and half on the cable. And we will basically just switch that around. We're do, we want this part that is on the cable. We're going to slide onto our free needle, our left needle. And it can be a little hard to get it onto the needle. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so once again, yarn is attached to the right hand needle and I'm pulling it out and knitting with it. So knit across. And now the needle that are on the cable get put on, or the stitches that are on the cable get put on a needle and put in the left hand. Try to get those on. Yarn on the, attach the right needle still, of course, and pull it out. And so here's what's happening. I'm pulling out this needle. This stitch right here is immediately going to want to shrink to the size of the cable. Therefore, you, when you knit this first stitch, you want to kind of maintain a natural tension. You don't want to, or even a and kind of work it on a little bit on the easy side. You don't need to worry about the ladder so much that can form 
on the ends as you would with other small diameter circular methods like double pointed needles. What you want to worry about, if anything, is making the stitch too tight because when this gets really small, it becomes hard, I'll show you, to put on the needle when it comes time. So here it is, there's that small stitch. And it sort of inevitably wants to get small. Ooh, I think I successfully kept it all on the loose side, which makes a difference in my enjoyment of this method. I'm not much of a magic loop knitter. And that's why if you work this too tightly, it is frustrating in my opinion to uh, work this method. So you wanna keep it, experiment with that tension so that it's easy enough to get on the needle, but not so loose that you're getting a gap between the needles on the ends. So there you go. This is Magic Loop in action. And this is really popular, gaining in popularity uh, among knitters, this method. So enjoy it, have fun, and thank you for joining us.